Hey guys and welcome to another Battlefield 1 video and a bit of a history lesson all rolled into one. Um, I'm going to go through the four DLCs that's just been announced. Uh, first starting with They Shall Not Pass. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this one as uh, a lot of us have already played the CTE and I don't know we've seen a lot of videos on this already so what I am going to tell you though is We've got a confirmed date uh, for the drop of this DLC, okay, for 14th of March for premium pass owners and 28th of March for non-premium pass owners, so obviously premium pass uh, gets two weeks early and that's the 14th of March. Uh, on to the next bit of DLC that's just been announced is uh, called In the Name of Tsar, okay, Tsar being the um, Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. Uh, the DLC reads, Enter the war's biggest front with the Russian army and fight in snow-covered ravines and a freezing archipelago in four new maps. Okay, basically it's announced uh, we're going to get four new maps there. Um, as you can see from the background, uh, we're going to be fighting in snow, in the cold, and this is going to be introducing the Russian army. Um, from this picture you can probably make out one of the guys on the horses has a Beer, I'm pretty sure it is, and the other one seems to have a heavy machine gun. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a brief history of this Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. Um, Tsar Nicholas II approved the Russian mobilization on 31st of July 1914, which led to the German declara uh, declaring war uh, on Russia the following day. It's estimated that around 3.3 million Russians were killed uh, in World War One. The Imperial Army's severe losses and the High Command's incompetent management of the war efforts, along with the lack of food and other supplies on the home front, were the leading causes of the fall of the Romanov dynasty. Following February Revolution in 1917, Nicholas abdicated from uh, the front on behalf of his son and himself. Uh, he and his entire family were imprisoned, and in the spring of 1918, Nicholas was handed over to the local Euro-Soviet with the approval of Lenin. Nicholas and his family were eventually executed by Bolsheviks on the night of the 16th and 17th of July, 1918. The next piece of DLC is entitled Turning Tides, and the description reads, Participate in the Amphibious Warfare. Uh, of World War One and engage in Daredevil Zebruga raid, uh, the Gallipoli offensive, and more. Um, the Zebruga raid basically happened on the 23rd of April 1918, and it was an attempt by the Royal Navy to block the Belgian port of Bruges Zebruga. The British intended to sink the obsolete ships in an attempt to prevent the German Imperial Navy U-boats from leaving the port. The first attempt was made on April 2nd, 1918, but was cancelled at the last minute after the wind direction changed and made it impossible for them to lay a smokescreen. Another attempt was made on the 23rd of April, uh, as two of the three block ships were in the narrowest part of the Bruges Canal. Uh, one of two submarines rammed a viaduct to isolate a German garrison. However, the block ships were sunk in the wrong place, and after a few days, the canal was open to submarines at high tide. British casualties were 300, no it wasn't, it was 583 men and the German losses were 24 men. The raid was publicised by the British around the world as a great success and many medals were awarded. Um, the Gallipoli campaign, this took place in uh, 1915 to 1916 and was also known as the Battle of Gallipoli or the uh, Dardanelles campaign. Uh, it was an unsuccessful attempt by the Allied. Uh, powers to control the sea route from Europe to Russia during World War I. The campaign began with a failed naval attack uh, by British and French ships on the Dardenne Straits in February and March uh, 1915 and continued with a major land invasion of the Gallipoli Peninsula on April 25th involving British and French troops as well as divisions of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Lack of sufficient intelligence and knowledge of the terrain, along with a fierce Turkish resi resistance, hampered the success of the invasion. By mid-October, Allied forces had suffered heavy casualties and had made little headway from their initial landing sites. The evacuation began uh, in December 1915 and was completed by early the following January. Some 480,000 Allied forces took part in the Gallipoli campaign at a cost of more than 250,000 casualties, including 46,000 deaths. On the Turkish side, the campaign also cost an estimated 250,000 casualties with 65,000 deaths. 
Lastly, coming on to the fourth piece of DLC entitled Apocalypse. Uh, the description reads, Go over the top in the most infamous battles of World War I. Conquer bitterly contested ground with brutal tools and unique weapons. Okay, I'm just speculating here, but what we can see in the um, concept artwork here is uh, what looks like a, a French soldier from the blue uniform uh, wearing a gas mask. But if you zoom in, <coughs> bearing in mind the actual uh, title of the DLC is called Apocalypse, I'm guessing this is some type of zombie horde survival mode. Um, Battlefield's never done this before, DICE has never really put a, a zombie type mode into their games, but zooming in on this uh, picture here, in this guy's uh, gas mask, you can see the reflection uh, of flames in the background, and I've pointed out what looks like three zombies. Their, their silhouettes aren't uh, reminiscent of any other soldiers' uniforms. Um, I'm just guessing that I mean, some of them's bigger than others, some of them look like bloody Bigfoot, to be honest, but you can see three soldiers in the background, which looks like uh, German soldiers from their helmet shapes, but um, I'm guessing this is uh, definitely zombie horde mode. Uh, I mean, we've seen in the French DLC, in the Fort Vaux level, there is a <coughs> uh, an isolation chamber, um, which has got zombie uh, voices and zombie groans behind there. So I'm guessing this is probably a zombie type horde mode. Okay, let me know in the comments what you think that this uh, possibly could be, this last piece of DLC. And uh, this brings me to the end of the video. But if you did like the video, give us a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps to support my channel. And also you can subscribe if you want to keep up to date with uh, more Battlefield news. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you next time.